Hello everybody and welcome back once again to Let's Play Skyrim. Here we are in the inn at Kynes Grove, about to leave. <coughs> so we'll step outside and then we shall discuss what we're going to do today. <sighs> okay, so here we are outside in the world once again. So last time we left off we, uh, we came here to Kynes Grove. With Delphine from uh, the Riverwood Inn, Sleeping Giant Inn, she's a member of the Blades apparently, not just a little old uh, innkeeper, all feeble and weak, but no, she's a skilled Blades member. She brought us here to Kynes Grove because there was some hoo-ha about dragons being raised from their graves. Okay, now there is a quick way to get to, to this place. Where, is, where are we going? Just bear with me a moment. Here we need to be going. Uh, Iverstead. 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 Oh, damn you. Sorry, I, I don't know what I'm doing to this morning. I'm, I'm really confused. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, world map, right, let's go down. Um dee 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 Averstead, hey, there we go. Now how do you do this? Set destination. Right, okay. Ah, dearie me. Absolutely confused to hell. Then let's go down here. Ooh. Sorry, a very bizarre start to today's session. So last time we left off, as I was saying, we met Delphine at the Sleeping Giant Inn where she proved to be quite uh, the uh, quite the surprising uh, person. She wasn't a little old innkeeper as she purported to be, but she was a member of the Blades Order. Brought us here to Kynes Grove where we uh, witnessed for our very self a dragon being raised from his grave by uh, the big black dragon that looked to be some kind of a leader. Bit of talking went on. He's talking in dragon tongue to me, which I didn't understand, of course. But uh, yes, raised this dragon, which we slayed. Ooh. Oh boy. I don't want to be attacked by a bear. <laughs> Probably kill me. So uh, yes, it's a very, very bizarre situation to find yourself in. Observing dragons raising from their graves, and of course now we know what a dragon grave is. It's one of these things. As you can see, here it is. Like a big mound. Of course this one seems to be already, uh, already... Uh, this dragon piece have already risen from this grave. Ah, so there you go, you see. And we're going up there! To the top of the throat of the world, to High Hrothgar to hand back the horn of Jürgen Winkhaler. Once we've done that, we're going to Markath. So that's going to be pretty much the order of the day. Come on, Brina, keep up. So whilst we go, I'm going to be picking flowers, creep clusters, and other such alchemical ingredients. Uh, I do like these little salt flats. They're quite quite a nice, you know, nice, nice setting, really. So uh, we ended up last time in the inn at Kynes Grove, where everybody had disappeared because they were fled for this, fled for their lives, due to the fact that a dragon was approaching. Um, but they returned eventually, and Elwyn and Berlin, they merely just slept. They were so tired, they pulled them all nighter again, so they were pretty much ready for sleep, and they slept fairly soundly. What the hell is this? Bit of gold? Oh my god. What are they doing? Whoa, 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 whoa! Just what do you think you're doing? Attacking me like this? Treachery! Ow, 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 ow! Run! What the hell? You stupid cow! Oh! Too slow! Oh! 
Oh my god! Gotcha! See that? That was horrendous. Horrendous. I was caught off guard, you know? That's my excuse. Oh, oh my god. Verlina almost died! A little crappy, bloody apprentice mage of some sort almost killed the Archmage of college. What an embarrassment that would have been! Anyhow, before I was rudely interrupted, I was trying to uh, see what this was. It was some kind of. Uh, Shrine uh, of some sort. That'll do. Thank you very much. Right. Oh, can we uh, <laughs> press on now without any more melodrama? If you don't mind. So what I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted was that, uh, yes, we uh, slept in the inn pretty much for about eight hours or so. We got back to the inn about uh, half past eleven in the morning. So we, as we see, we slept for about eight hours. It's now ten o'clock at night. A strange time to go meandering out into the world, you say? Meandering out into the world at night time? Are you crazy? No, I felt like a change. We don't go adventuring in the night too often, so I thought it'd be nice to do that. Our sleeping pattern has forced us to become nocturnal all of a sudden. Right, we'll continue on. Just meandering through the uh, the landscape here. It's very uh, unorthodox fashion. No sort of path, just going down the rocks, through the salt flats. It's it's good fun. The trouble is, Berlina is, uh, often gets wrong-footed in these types of situations, so she seems to have disappeared. But we'll let her off. She'll catch up in June course. There'll be a road somewhere around here, I just have to find it. Just as just as Berlina's gonna have to find us. I always panic when she goes missing, I don't like it. I know she's gonna turn up eventually, but it's just there's always that little bit of a, a niggling doubt in your mind when she disappears. Is she actually going to return? Did she witness my last battle there with those two mages and think, oh my god, he's so hopeless, I just, I'm just gonna go, I can't be seen with this man, he's just so pathetically stupid. <laughs> you know how I am, you know you know how Elwyn is when he first raises up in the morning, or in the night time as the case may be, when he, when he raises up, the first sort of 10-15 minutes of his day, he's a bit disorientated. It takes him a while to get adjusted to the situation. That's all it is. I guarantee you, in the next, uh, you know, in the next five minutes or so, he'll be fully awake, alert, and recovered, and any person that tries to attack us will, will die. Die in the most painful fashion. Belina. I'm getting worried now. Oh, there she is. I can see her. I can see her. Come on, Berlina. I'm over here. Berlina! Come on! Leave me hanging, why don't you? There's a lot of damn herbs down here. And these herbs are pretty rare, like dragon things, jazbay grapes. They're pretty uh, rare. When I say rare, compared to the areas that I usually patrol, they are rare. Obviously, they are abundant over here. But I don't tend to come over this side of the world that often, so uh, better grab them while we can. <laughs> we find Berlina, and then we lose Berlina. There she comes, there we go. There's a good, there's a, oh! There's a good apprentice. Care for some, uh, 
care for some uh, bear pills for timber wide arms? I think we should, really. I don't like to kill the nature. You know, animals and things, I don't generally like to kill them. You know, we're in cro- Oh. Saber cat. Told you I'd wake up eventually. Much more proficient. Come. Nothing can stop me now. So, where am I going? That's a good question. I love this area. Do you know what? It, I don't know if I've already said this once before. I probably have. I do tend to say things multiple times. I can't recall what I said in the past, but it reminds me of. Um, remember the game Jurassic Park: The Lost World. This sort of setting it reminds me of, of that game because there was a particular level or a particular well, yeah, level on that game when you were the T-Rex when you came to a sort of a, an area that was full of sulfur springs, and I remember fighting Triceratops in this sort of a sort of a setting. Isn't it funny how games just bring back certain flashes of, of, of memory? Some certain games remind me of, uh, of songs, some certain games remind me of particular times in my life for whatever reason. It's, it's, it's nice, you know? Anyway, enough of my ramblings. Come on, let's go. <laughs> We've barely moved. I'm so, so uh, in awe of this area that uh, our progress is pretty slow. When we get to something that resembles a path, a road, that we can take to High Hrothgar once again, um, I will have Elwyn once again recall one of the books that he read, not last night because he didn't read anything, but he has read this book in the past already, and it's The Dreamer Inquiries Volume 3, the final book in the Dreamer Inquiry series which outlines the little snippets of information and history about Dreamer architecture by Thelwy Gleen, or whatever it was called, Thelwy, Thelwy Gleen. Who's here at this camp? I remember coming here before. Good grief. This is, uh, a never-ending bloody salt flat plain. Where, where's the road around here? Come on, I want to see a road. I'm, I'm no longer picking herbs. I just want to get to the road, man. You know, hit the road, Jack, and all that. Ah, creep clusters, yes, yes. Well, I can't resist. Ah, sp ah, this is where I, yes, this is why I remember it. I've come here before, obviously, and I had to swim across, and now I'm going to have to swim across again. There is a bridge, but the bridge is miles away. And it looks like there's no way around. So I'll collect a few more snippets of herbs, and then we'll have to uh, ascertain a way to get across. God, there are some spells that they didn't put in this game that I wish they really did put it, uh, put them in. <coughs> Walker, water, water walking would have been perfect for El Elwyn. As would... Uh, is he firing at me? Uh, <coughs> open locks would have been nice. Oh, look at little, uh, little fox. Peering through. I don't think it's safe to cross here. I mean, this would be a really dangerous place. The currents could suck you over the edge of the damn waterfall. It danger. You know, a very dangerous situation to find yourself in. Anyway, I better kill this before I go across. There we go. Up in flames. The best place for a spider is dead on fire. Oh, another one! Hello, mister! Does it burn? Whee! I think it does. Right. I'm gonna walk along the water's edge. Because there are... Oh! Because there are... There are herbs there, apparently. First start, Berlin has gone missing in action again, and secondly, uh, this, I see a bridge up the road. 
Last time I didn't take a bridge, somebody criticized me. You didn't see the damn bridge. Well, this time I'm gonna take the bridge, okay? Somewhere over here, there was a bridge. God, this place is treacherous. Right, I'm going to wait here for Berlin. <laughs> if I go too much further, I'm sure she's gonna get lost, and that'll be it. Never to be seen again. I mean, at least, at least, at least, if somebody dies, you know they're dead. When they disappear, it's, it's like a mystery. You'll be forever asking the question: Where did she get to? Is she alive? Is she dead? Did she get sick of me? That was a sinister sound. What the hell? Dark water crossing. No doubt. Darkwater Crossing, is that a settlement or a mine? We appear to be at a settlement, actually. Look at this, like a little village. Hey there, mister. Have you heard? There's been another dragon attack. Kynes Grove this time. Oh, yes, I, I know. I, w I was there. Uh, you know, it was a rather uh, frightening affair for the poor denizens of that little town. But for me, it was nothing more than... Uh, no, no, normal. <laughs> My life has become rather bizarre lately. Dragon attacks is just everyday business, it seems. Anyway, I'm just going to quickly talk with the citizens here and see what's going down. Bit of late night chit chat. Hey, little girl. Hi, I've never seen you around here before. Are you a miner too? Uh, well, I've been known to pick at a few bits of ore in my time, but not as a profession. <laughs> Food. Melts, all, and a mine, golden rock mine. Probably a gold mine. Just taking a wild stab in the dark. Anyway, I shall leave you all to your little mining operation. Good to see you, and I am going to head back to where I'm supposed to be going, which is High Rothgar, via Iverstead. But um. Still, is there is no sign of Berlin, and it's getting now very worrying, very worrying indeed, that she is not here. Oh, is she there? What's she doing? Nina, are you going to come and join me? Come on, you silly woman! Give me a heart attack. No. Lena, come on! Oh, good grief, woman! You're gonna drive me insane, I say! You drive me mad! Oh, here she comes! Do I smell today or something? Look, she doesn't dare come any closer. Hello? She gonna follow me at a distance? Okay, something's amiss here. Lena, come on! I've got your back. No, oh, it's fine. Leave okay, fine. Oops, a day. Was... See, you're driving, to, you're driving me to ruin. I'm about to jump off this bridge and try and kill myself because of your damn foolishness. I'm just kidding. Right, let's get going. Come on, Iverstead awaits. And we really must press on. It's like 1.50am. Uh, as soon as we get to Kynes Grove, we'll go to the inn there. If, if there is an inn. I can't remember if there was or not. And uh, we'll sleep and then go to Hirothgar tomorrow morning. Uh, up here, Iverstead. The oops, I'm in the trees. Okay, so now that we are on a pathway, <laughs> and Berlin is playing silly games with us, we well, might as well take the opportunity. Look, she just she just sat there. Is this a glitch? That she's not coming. Look, I move a tiny bit, and she moves. There to fall out. Oh! What's this? Is it a bear? It looks like a bear. Oh, it's a saber cat. Ah! 
It's fine, Belina. I'm taking care of it on my own, you know. You just stand down there and watch. Bit of free entertainment for you, eh? <laughs> 